Dermavic great battles. And we have a bridge target. It's in occupied France. Uh, it's used by enemy forces for access to a port and airfield area. Occupied France, 1943. So that's our target of the day. And we're flying one of our favorite airplanes, the P-51 Bravo. And one of the reasons we like it is it has automatic radiators, oil and water, coolant, uh, less to manage, plus we're Sunday drivers. All right, we're taking off uh, with 80% throttle and 87% prop pitch. We don't want to spend our engine taking off. Uh, we are carrying a pretty heavy ammo loadout, two 1,000-pound bombs, and we use all the runway to get airborne. All right, let's head over to the target area. All right, we made it across the channel. And it's a little annoying, but we're flying right into the sun. target is just on the right side of that port canal. And you can see it's a pretty large complex. All right, we're just starting to make out the target. It's off to our right, three o'clock. And we're going to nose up for our bomb run. Let's start to angle downward. It's going to be a linear approach. Larger hit probability. Two out. All right, egressing away. Oh, dude, on target. All right, let's take a look at the bomb drop through the gratification cam. And we can see that uh, both projectiles land right next to a bridge span. And as the smoke clears, we can see we knocked out two sections of the bridge. All right, the enemy is reacted by sending up fighters. We're going to face them nose up. Looks like a pair of 110s and 109s. Rounds out, nose up, and now we're going to turn in. And it's going to be a high climbing uh, turn back in. Our flaps are down one position so we don't stall out in a low speed turn. And when we come out of the turn, we've got a 110.
two one oh nine just passed its nose up but we're in position to fire on the one ten got rounds out stand with them All right we're gonna break off the 110 as a 109 G goes right by and he's a bigger threat so we're gonna pick him up in a, a hard right hand turn and you just have to press the flaps key once Oh, we scored big hits. All right, let's take a look at the gun cam. Oh, it looks like we got a direct hit in the, in the noodle. Rounds hitting all around the pit area. Splash one. And one of the other advantages of the 51B is if you hit the flaps one position, uh, they go down to combat flaps flaps automatically. Other aircraft you have to kind of time the numbers. Alright, we got a crossing shot on a 110. Check our six. Tag team in this aircraft, He's one of our wingmen. Point blank, right off the cowling. I, I wouldn't recommend it on a uh, single engine aircraft, but 110's a really nice big target. Alright, we're going to break off that 110. We've got him smoking pretty good. Again, we're going to pick up a 109. One oh nine is trailing a lot of smoke. Our women scored multiple hits on him. big hits. We scored numerous hits. Again, right in the noodle area. Spinning out of control. I think he's out of the war. All right, he went in. Alright, let's pick up this remaining 110G. He's missing part of his control surfaces. He scored some more hits. But 110 can take a lot of damage. We're out of ammunition. Let's break off. Let's head back to base. All right, we're on final. Pretty successful mission. Uh, we eliminated the uh, target. Put a 
lot of damage on that bridge and took it down. And we had pretty good success against enemy uh, interceptors. All right, nice landing. It's good to be back. Let's taxi over to the rearm area. All right, let's check our score. All right, mission accomplished, successful landing, and four air-to-air -air kills. That's my best uh, mission ever. Uh, and we also scored the uh, primary objective. Well, guys, I hope you liked this flight. Uh, sure was fun to fly. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like IL-2 uh, Great Battles, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Take care. We'll see you up again soon.